Welcome back savages to another video. Today we've got some really exciting news about Crank. No, unfortunately it's nothing to do with the uh, token price and the daily rewards. The news is actually about a new integration called Meshtastic. So this is the announcement that came out a few days ago just regarding the Meshtastic public beta launch. And as you can see, it says you can monetize your existing or new Meshtastic nodes by earning Crank tokens. Can't wait to see that. You'll also benefit from the low cost gas fees for the transactions. So you're going to need some Kadena in your wallet. And currently for the beta, they've said they're going to do free onboarding for Meshtastic nodes until the end of January 2025. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to onboard a Meshtastic device into Crank. Now there is some vague instructions on how to do this from Crank, but it is very much a beta. So it is a work in progress for the instructions. But in this video, if you have an Helltech V3 device, I'm going to show you how to do this from A to Z. Let's go. Step number one, these are the instructions provided by Crank and this is on a crank.wiki. So I'll leave a link in the description to everything. So don't worry about noting anything down. Just look in the description. You'll get all the links in there. So it just talks about how to onboard the device and four steps. You need the appropriate device drivers installed, depending on what type of device you've got. Then you've got to flash the firmware onto the device. They've got an actual online flasher, which is nice. So we'll be using that to flash the firmware. And then once you've done that, you've got to set the Wi-Fi, log on to it locally using the serial connection, change some settings once you're on the Wi-Fi, and then you should be good to go. So let's start off and first of all talk about the device we're going to be using. So this is the device we're going to be using and it's a Helltech V3. I've already actually had this up and running for about a year now using Meshtastic. So I'm just going to repurpose this for Crank just to show you for this video. And essentially what you've got inside is a Helltech V3 and I've also got an external antenna. Again, don't worry about the links for these. I'll put them in the description. But essentially, that's the Helltech V3 and it's USB-C powered. Just got a nice snug fitting case for it and an external antenna which just clips onto the side right there. So once you've got it all in there, you can put this nice case on and we should be good to go. So the cable that you need to connect to this, please ensure that it is a data cable. I have many cables lying around. Sometimes they just charge your cables and it will not work with it. So whatever USB-C cable you use for this, make sure it's got data connection on it as well. So in terms of what devices are supported for Meshtastic, I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom of their instructions and you get a full list of supported Meshtastic devices right here. Okay, so back to the top and what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go to the GitHub and get the firmware. Just for information, I've actually gone through this several times. I've had a number of hiccups, so I've done all the hard work so you don't have to. So ignore these alpha releases, simply scroll down and go for the beta one. And the one you want to download is this one here, the firmware dash 2.4.2.54, that one there. So click and download that. And that's the one we're going to be flashing to the device. So we've got the firmware, that's all done and downloaded. We don't need the drivers because it just seemed to pick them up automatically in Windows for me. So don't worry about that. But if you do, just make sure you download the drivers mentioned here. That just talks about the firmware. Well, we know which one we're going to get. We're going to ignore the alpha and just go for the beta one. Plug in your Meshtastic device. Well, I've already done that. And we're going to go to the flashing tool right here and we're going to pick the zip file. So go to the flasher. First of all, select the target device. So I was the Helltech V3. So we're going to pick that. Then it says select the firmware version. So we'll click that and we're going to click the folder button to the right of it. Pick the firmware we've just downloaded. You don't need to extract anything from the zip file. You need to pick the zip file as a whole. So that's all done there. And next thing we do is click on flash. Leave the board rate as it is. You want to click this button here where it says flash firmware full arrays. So we'll slide that to the right 
and then once we've done that we're just going to click on erase flash and install now if you've got the correct data cable attached then it should come up with the ports here i've got two devices connected one something else this is the one that we're going to be using for meshtastic comp7 and it says it's paired so we'll click on connect that's now connected to it and it's going to erase the flash and then write the firmware to the device this will take a bit of time so just leave it to do its thing and there we go the flashing is complete and the device should reboot as well so that's it firmware is now installed on the device we don't need the flasher tool anymore so we're going to carry on with the instructions we flash the device that's all done next thing it says is to use firefox well that was a bit of a joke for me because you can't even get it to work with certain tabs so ignore firefox and use chrome or edge so in this next section we're going to be setting up the wi-fi so we're going to go into the client set up a connection using serial and then we're going to change the wi-fi settings right here so the way you do that is on the meshtastic web click on new connection click on serial because we've got it connected up you should get something like this so go ahead and click on that when you get to this screen make sure it doesn't say messages loading because it means it hasn't connected properly you want to make sure it says anything but loading so primary or whatever like that and then that way you know it's connected once you've done that go into config go into network enable this setting for the wi-fi radio enter the name of the ssid here and put your password in there once you've done these two things go ahead and click on save now when you click on save make sure you look out for a message down here saying settings updated or something i'm going to do it right now so i'll show you so that's done i'm going to click on the save icon in the top right and it says there you go config network saved so that's now saved to the device so we're good to go and it should restart the device for you as well so for this next part it's very important what you need to do is plug the meshtastic device into a device that's already on this wi-fi network that you've put in here so go ahead unplug it from a pc if you've just been doing it locally and go ahead and plug it into a laptop that's on the same wi-fi network as what you put in here now if you follow the instructions it asks you to go to the client.meshtastic.org again to do a new connection and then in http put the ip address it will not work trust me i've tried it what you need to do is put in the ip address of that device at the top here so once you found the ip address of the meshtastic device enter it in there and go directly to the ip address once you put the ip address in that bar and hit enter it should automatically take you to the web client which it's done right there now if you do new connection it's already got that put in there and you can do connect again make sure at the top where it says messages it doesn't say loading so it's got primary so that looks like it's worked so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change a few settings in here first we're going to click on config then click on module config at the bottom scroll over here to neighbor information and enable that one right there and click on save and you should get a saved config thing just to the bottom here there you go that's saved and it should restart the device so let it just restart so next thing we're just going to restart this again reload the browser do new connection log into http again wait for that to change to primary which is what it's doing right there click on config module config right there and then click on pax counter enable that click on save get the message saying pax counter is saved so that's good so let the device reboot and we're going to log back into this ip address again new connection http with that ip in click on connect the next thing we need to do is make sure that the meshtastic device is on the correct region and you can do that by clicking on the config tab going across to the LoRa tab at the top there and it says at the moment region unset so make sure you pick the correct region for you i'm going to be picking this one 
and then click on save. Again, look out for the message on the bottom right, which says config saved. There you go, that's saved. So when it's rebooted for the last time, just log back into the IP again. Let Meshtastic load up. New connection, go into the HTTP bit, connect to that. And this time we're going to go into config, module config, and then there should be a wallet tab right at the bottom here. So we're going to enable that wallet. And what we need to do is enter the public key from your crank wallet right here and also the private key. So go on crank, get these two bits of detail and then click on save. Just something to note, when you're putting the public key into here, make sure it is without the K colon at the beginning. Take those two bits off. If you're wondering where to get the wallet information from, you need to go into your crank dashboard, click on wallet, unlock it. So that's your wallet address. To get the secret key, you just click the three dots right here and then click on reveal secret key and that's your secret key. So go ahead and get those two bits of information and put them into the wallet section on Meshtastic. Another thing you could have bear in mind is because of the transaction fees for the Meshtastic, you'll be the one that pays those. So what you're going to need is some Kadena on chain 19. And in Kadena, when you click the down button, there's a number of chains going from zero all the way up to 19. So make sure you've got a bit of a balance of KDA in there to pay these transaction fees. So once you've got those two bits of information entered and this is enabled right here for the wallet, go ahead and click save. and it should say config wallet saved. That's it. So after about half an hour or so, you should see something appear in your crank dashboard. Let's go. So here we are about 35 to 40 minutes later. I've clicked on integrations and Meshtastic and now we have one gateway in Meshtastic. It's also given it a name and we've got the wallet next to it. And if we click on it and it looks like we've had one transaction which has been sent. Let's have a look how much that reward is worth. Wow, it's not even a penny. Whether it's worth it for the rewards, it's entirely up to you. So there you go, savages. That's how you connect up Meshtastic to Crank. I'll leave a link in the description to all the websites that we've used to configure the Meshtastic device and also to buy the hardware. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.